Alright guys, Doctor here and this is some attack helicopter gameplay on Karg Island. Probably my favourite map lately, I've been chopper hoarding so much uh, since the new patch but I'll get to that later. For those who might be wondering who I'm flying with, it's my uh, subscriber and also uh, new friend. He added me on battle log and we played together and I really like him. So I had a blast with him flying today and the days before, so thank you Spikey for joining in with me. And you might be wondering what attachments we're using or what perks, whatever you want to call it, on this helicopter. And uh, we talked about this in Bro Tips with Mad Mackie, however, there has been some changes since the patch and I'm just going to give you my general opinion of what I think is best right now. Uh, to me personally, Laser Painter is the go-to attachment right now for the, well it's not an attachment, I don't know how to say it, I'm just gonna call it spec. It's the go-to spec right now, uh, simply because the guided missile on the gunner actually hits the enemy helicopter uh, pretty pretty regularly, like we've been getting uh, those one-hit kills on enemy attack helicopters a lot more than usually, and ECM jammer for a pilot is just a lot more, at least for me it's a lot more useful, I see also a lot of good pilots now use laser painter and uh, guided shell or guided uh, whatever, guided missile, so I definitely think that uh, ECM is worth using then. You can also counter enemy tanks that use CTV guided because flares don't really work then. Um, overall, it is very important to use the advantage of below radar of course. Um, lower, a lot of people still use stingers and the best way to counter them now after the patch because the gunner flares don't really work for me, I have no idea why. Whenever I'm flying with friends uh, they don't really work. Uh, Spikey will probably tell you the same. He always uses them, but it re didn't really work at all times. Uh, also, when I was flying with my friend Trip today, it worked in the end. I have no idea why, but they seem to be very unreliable. So I'm trying. What I generally would advise you to do is try avoid the use of gunner flares. Just try work with your ECM. Maybe even use um, the thermal optics as the gunner. Uh, other than that, on the gunner seat I recommend you use stealth and guided missile to of course work effective with the laser painter and to not be that annoyed by stingers at all times. Uh, if you can handle TV missile of course, I sure can and none of my friends can. You can also go air radar, that would be a lot more, uh, a lot better choice than I guess. But yeah, <clears throat> I think that's been it for the specs of the helicopter. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm helicoptering so much, <laughs> which I do since the patch, uh, as well as whoring other vehicles right now. And since the patch where suppression got a huge buff, I, especially the last days, I haven't been enjoying infantry that much anymore. Uh, especially on Metro, I still do well, and on Grand Bazaar too, but it feels like if there's just some noob, like 5 meters in my front, spraying his RPK, I can I can shoot him with my gun, and I get three or three or two shots on him, and after that I'm not able to hit him anymore, and I'll, I'll stay alive for one more second. And just because suppression is completely overdone, he managed to kill me, and this has been frustrating me. Believe me, I'm trying to avoid uh, playing game types that uh, that uh, annoy me, and infantry map based maps recently with the suppression effect are just it's getting out of hand in my opinion, and. Uh, overall, I just haven't been enjoying it so much. I think suppression has its place in the game, but just giving a spraying noob an advantage, in my opinion, isn't what it's supposed to be. If you have a bipod uh, drop down and just, you know, suppress a whole area, that's fine with me if suppression is very strong then. But if I just have some some random spraying as RPK and, you know, hip firing me at 15 meters and I just can't hit him because he's suppressing me, it just frustrates me quite a bit. So. Uh, I've basically stopped doing infantry, <laughs> today at least, and I've been whoring out the helicopters a lot. Because to me it feels like they need a lot more skill now. Uh, especially with below radar working, you gotta fly low, you gotta navigate through targets, and it's overall a lot more fun. And you're gonna see that Spike is gonna send me a message right now. Oh, the assholes kicked him, as you see in the top right corner. Uh, you might have realized already that he got kicked out of the game, and we're gonna get on the whole server topic in a minute. So basically, just one less note on the vehicles. I think they take more skill than doing infantry right now. Especially helicopters, you need to be able to uh, aim well. Uh, because it's kind of hard to see where the missiles go. So overall, I've just having I've just been having a blast. 
uh, flying with my friends, especially if I had a friend up that is a good jet pilot. It has been such a pleasure to me. But yeah, I love I love helicopters. I love them. I like my, my vehicle scope minute has been going up so much. Now, one more thing that I wanted to talk about is the private servers and the pros and cons. Now, first of all, uh, I definitely think they're a great addition. I love to have custom map rotations. Uh, sadly, my server wasn't too successful. It seems that we've been we've been owning people too hard. You know, friends of mine joined in, uh, subs joined in, and you guys are pretty beast. I gotta admit, as I recognize some of you from Battle Log. Um, it seems that we just made quite a lot of people rage quit, and in the end, the server was completely empty. Which is kind of sad, it's still up, but I don't think there's anybody on it right now. And I also changed the name, and I'm gonna have it in the description, uh, it might be full. But if you're in the mood of some uh, big, bigger vehicle maps, because of the chopper hoarding, go ahead, check it out. The, the name will be in the description. Um, so overall, as I said, it's a great addition to have private servers. Uh, just, you can have clan battles, all that stuff, that's one very important thing. Not that I had, I didn't have any so far, but I know how important it is for the competitive scene because for many people, also for people I know, the competitive scene is something very important and it shows them where they stand in the game. So um, big thanks to DICE for implementing this feature. Um, on the other side, there's also uh, some of the things that I don't really like about them. And first of all is that, of course, people are getting kicked, but I'll get to that later. As you saw, Spiky before I got kicked and you probably can guess what's going to happen to me even though I'm not even doing extremely well. And what basically happened is that um, a lot of these servers are very, very unbalanced. Uh, admins usually have their friends on one side and uh, it's I have had countless matches where I joined in with friends and it just was just spawn raping all day and I don't enjoy it. It's, it happens sometimes and maybe you're gonna see me spawn rape one day, but um, if the enemy team really does not put in any effort, I just don't know what to do anymore. I can't just wait in my base for them to capture some flags. Uh, if the enemy doesn't show resistance, I will in the end basically have to spawn rape you, and that's the unbalance in the private servers is pretty annoying. Uh, the other thing is kicking, and you're gonna see me get kicked in a few seconds. And what I want to say to you guys is if you get kicked from a server for no apparent reason, just for doing better like I did here, or for winning with my team, the admin actually kicked the whole team, uh, my whole team, because he was losing, he was on the other team. Uh, go ahead and report that server. I'm not gonna say who the server owner is and stuff like that. I reported it in the EA live chat. Uh, I went on battle log, pressed feedback and s supported feedback and just went ahead. You see me get connected, disconnected here and just reported the server there. And I encourage you to do this because this needs to be stopped. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you agree with me. If not, go ahead and tell me. So I guess I'm up for the day. See ya.